Good morning, folks. Today we're going to check out the winter storm in the east, some eye candy from the XAI Grok, and hit three excellent papers on solar forcing and pre-earthquake signals. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things remain very quiet. We have plenty of sunspots and plasma filaments, even a coronal hole visible incoming from the left. But activity was calm the last day, no significant flares or eruptions. The watch for today mostly rides with the incoming sunspot group. You can see that the larger sunspot group on the right is beginning to depart our view while the incoming equatorial spots are still turning to face the Earth. We have had only minor activity at these active regions, but with flaring possible at both of them, this green 94 angstrom view is showing the flaring activity still very low level as white flashes were eyes open for X-ray surges and coronal mass ejections as the spots face Earth heading into next week. Many of you have heard about, or are literally dealing with, the major snowstorm that hit the eastern U.S. this week. This jet stream setup allows for Arctic air to circulate southward, and its position over the Great Lakes means the lake effect snow is major. This was the perfect setup for what closed down highways this week. Hopefully, the dig out goes well. Yesterday, I asked Grok, Elon Musk's AI bot for X, to make an image of me based on my posts. I think we can admit it did a pretty good job. Man, X is fun these days. Moving on to the science articles where we find that solar activity and El Nino pretty much completely control the Indian monsoon. What's more interesting is that the sun's control over El Nino is one of the only things the IPCC actually acknowledges about solar forcing. So this paper is basically saying the sun controls the monsoon both directly and indirectly. Up next, we've got an excellent study cataloging major earthquakes and pre-seismic ionospheric anomalies. This multi-year study confirms what everyone in the subfield already knows. The big quakes snitch on themselves before they happen. If only someone was watching. And our top story today, the sun controls climate variation so dramatically that it also controls migration and population numbers of civilization over long periods of time. They found the growth or shrinking of populations across the world has matched the rise and fall of solar activity, with the switches in major solar activity phase matching the migrations of people into different places. This is by controlling those monsoons, El Nino, the jet streams, and the overall temperature and precipitation rates across the world. Folks, our next major event at the ranch is in two weeks. It's UFO Day with special guest Adrian D'Amico, but also our pre-solstice party with some catastrophism science sprinkled in. Whether for the major events or your preference for smaller gatherings, just pick a date, come out and see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.